Whether you're new to the Mac or have been using one for years, you've probably been a little intimidated at some point by the long list of keyboard shortcuts out there to memorize. But here are five that I actually use almost every day, and these ones are truly worth memorizing. This is Luke with Digital Trends, and before we get into these keyboard shortcuts, I just wanna say up top, I'm not gonna include shortcuts on this list that are a bit more obvious. So don't worry, no Command Z to undo or Command V to paste. I won't waste your time with stuff like that. But if you do find any of these tips helpful at the end of the video, go ahead and do us a favor and give us a like, that helps a ton. And with that out of the way, let's get to our first Mac keyboard shortcut. Okay, first up is one that I use all the time, and that's Command Space. So pressing Command Space will bring up Spotlight, which is the Mac's universal search tool. It'll pull up documents, web searches, and dictionary definitions for whatever you type in. But what I actually use it most for is just as an app launcher. It's extremely fast, and it auto-populates the results, and will always put applications at the top. So type in a C, and I know it'll bring up Google Chrome, and now I'm just one return key away from having that application open. This is by far the most common way I actually pull up applications, even beyond using the actual dock or launch pad, which I'm pretty sure nobody uses. I also feel like this one is fast and convenient because it's just right there under your fingers. Your thumb is probably already on the space bar, so it's just a quick move to the command key with your fourth finger and you're already there. Now, I will say if you have a newer MacBook or a newer Mac keyboard in general, F4 does the same thing. So that's a valid way to pull up Spotlight too. But honestly, I've found that just as a touch typer, not having to stretch for that function row is a lot faster. The next one up is related to that first one in that it has to do with opening applications and that's Command Tab. I feel like this one is beloved in the Mac community because it's been around forever and like Command Space, what makes it useful is just how fast it is. Command tab is a way of switching to one of your other open applications, specifically the one you were just previously using. So if I am, let's say, doing something in Google Docs in Chrome, then go to reply to a chat in Microsoft Teams, command tab brings me right back to Google Chrome. You don't even have to hit return for this one. It just automatically brings up that last application as soon as you let go of the command key. It's even more useful though, because once that little menu is pulled up, as long as you hold your thumb on the command key, you can use the tab key to flip through other open applications, which is super handy. Next up is screenshots. There are a few different ways to do this and macOS has always been ahead of the game with quick ways to grab screenshots and use them in applications. Now, the one I use literally every day is Command Shift 4. That key command will convert your cursor into a reticle that you can point wherever you need on the screen. From there, just click and drag out whatever area of the screen you want to capture. You're even given a preview of the screenshot in the bottom right side of the screen to make sure you got exactly what you needed. And after you start this command, you can also hit the space bar, which will toggle to capture just a single window at a time, which is also really convenient. macOS has other screenshot shortcuts too, like you can also do Command Shift 3 to capture the whole screen, although I think that's a little less useful. The other option you have is to bring up a menu with some different screenshot options, and that is Command Shift 5. But if you can get Command Shift 4 into your muscle memory, that's really where it's at. This next keyboard shortcut is for those of you who like to dump a lot of files and folders on their desktop, you know who you are. This is Command F3. Pretty simple, it just clears away all your windows and applications and shows you the desktop. And then if you hit F3 again with Command being held, all your windows return to exactly where they were. It's easy to remember too, because F3 is what normally brings up Mission Control, which is a really nice layout of all your open windows and applications. I will note that Command F3 doesn't work if you're already in Mission Control. You have to exit first to get to your desktop. Also, because this one uses a function row key, it's a little more annoying to use if you happen to own a MacBook with a touch bar. All right, last one up. This one's always been a favorite among the Mac community, and that's the shortcut to make subtler changes to volume or screen brightness. This one's a little more hidden because it doesn't use the command key like the rest of them, but if you've ever felt like the difference between one press of the volume up or brightness up keys was too much of a change, this is for you. So to do this, just hold Option Shift F1 or F2 to make minor adjustments to screen brightness. This same formula works for volume as well. Just hold Option, Shift, and then F11 or F12. And what you get is basically each level of brightness or volume broken down into four smaller discrete chunks that give you a finer degree of control. 
And that's it, the five Mac keyboard shortcuts that I use every day. If you found any of these useful, go ahead and again, give this video a thumbs up and jump down into the comments and let me know which of these you use most often. And as always, subscribe to the channel for more tech videos just like this one.